Excuse Lindsay me. German from Stop the War Coalition to address you now. Thank you very much, Shelley, and what a fantastic crowd it is this afternoon here in the park. And congratulations, everybody, whether from Birmingham or from outside, who's come here to say to Theresa May, we've had enough of the Tories. You don't represent us, and we want a different kind of society. This is 15 years this week since the war in Afghanistan began. 15 years of the war on terror, which has cost billions and billions of pounds. And what has it created? It has created millions of refugees. But these refugees are not welcome here in Britain, here in Europe. In fact, the European Union has just said they will cut grants to Afghanistan unless they accept all their citizens deported back there. Now, what a disgrace this is from the richest corner of the world that it can take us into war after war after war, but it cannot help the victims of the wars that they've helped to create. And one of the things we should say here today is that these wars have been a complete failure. <coughs> we had the war in Afghanistan, we were told it was over 15 years ago. We had the war in Iraq, we've had the bombing of Libya, we've had the intervention in Syria. This summer, there have been four reports from government sources, all of which said our foreign policy is wrong. The Chilcot report, which showed that Tony Blair is a war criminal who should face justice in the Hague. The report on Libya, which has barely been commented about, which showed that David Cameron did the same over Libya as what Tony Blair did over Iraq, and he should be in the Hague as well. That is two out of our three last Prime Ministers absolutely discredited over this question. Yet, the majority of politicians of Labour and of Tories say nothing about this. And they wonder why Jeremy Corbyn is so popular. Because he was there. <coughs> when we formed Stop the War Coalition, Jeremy Corbyn spoke on that first platform in London. When we had the dossier in 2002, Jeremy Corbyn went on his bike and got the dossier and phoned me up and said, there's nothing in it we need to worry about. It's a load of rubbish. And how right he was and how wrong they were. Jeremy Corbyn marched on 15th of February 2003 with two million people. Yes. Yet we were right, they were wrong, but they will not accept it. And if you think anybody should be electable in this country, it should be somebody who has stood against wars and racism and Islamophobia. Because we said as well that this war on terror won't just bring misery to millions of people in the Middle East and in Asia, it will bring misery to us here. We have these attacks on our civil liberties where people are under threat in the Muslim community all the time. We have the growth of Islamophobia where across Europe and across the United States the attacks on Muslims are growing greater and greater. That today there is a referendum in Hungary which will keep immigrants out. There was a speech made by the President of the Czech Republic saying that Muslims aren't welcome in his country. These people are an absolute disgrace. This isn't just coming from the bunches of races that we know exist everywhere. It's coming from governments from state institutions who are making this racism worse and worse. Now we're here today to talk about austerity and I just want to make this point. I was very disappointed when Clive Lewis at the Labour conference said we would keep 2% spending of our whole wealth in this country, 2% of it would go on defence. I think that is wrong. I don't think we should be spending 2% of the wealth of this country on defence. We should be spending it on housing. We should be spending it on the health service. We should be spending it on the things that really matter to these people because every time we build a bomb, every time we put money for Trident, we are saying we don't have money for council.
council housing. We don't have money for education. We don't have money for disabled people. We don't have money for those things. That is wrong. And if we want to build a decent society, it cannot be a society based on wars, based on racism. It has to be a society which is based on providing for the needs of the people who really need things in this society. That's what we're standing for. That's why I'm proud to be here today, campaigning against war, but also campaigning against the war on us. Thank you very much.